Okay, we're going to go over how to take a skin biopsy with a biopsy punch. And also uh, included in this will also be how to use the first biopsy for a tissue culture if we so, uh, so desire. So um, here's our patient over here. Rudy has these um, ulcerative crusted lesions that could be paniculitis, could be an autoimmune skin disease. So we need to get some biopsies of this and we'll need to select some sites in order to uh, get some diagnostic samples. So we're going to uh, clip up a few areas that we want to biopsy first. And we want to shade it pretty lightly. I don't want to go through a thick um, crust or ulcer here. So I'm going to clip over here by this lesion. Clipping kind of gently, leaving some of the crust intact. Let's biopsy there. Maybe we'll biopsy sort of on the margin of one of these older lesions. And just kind of looking for another, another good spot to biopsy, maybe here. Good boy. Okay, so we're going to uh, mark the spots with a Sharpie that we're going to biopsy. So one we'll do on the margin of this lesion, maybe through this area. I'll just draw a little circle there through this crusted area. And then again, through this Crusted scaled area. So Rudy's a um, pretty calm dog, so we're going to be able to do this with just lidocaine, we think. So we'll put about one milliliter of lidocaine in each location. And for a smaller dog, you need to just Make sure you don't exceed the amount of lidocaine that you can safely give to them. Just come in from come from the side a little bit, go underneath our location just distribute the lidocaine about one milliliter under each biopsy site there's one just draw back first redirect a couple times it stings a little bit you can add a little bicarb sometimes that helps we think Good boy, Rudy. Good boy. Sorry, Rudy. Good boy. Good job. See if we just wait a second if that helps numb the area. Good boy, Rudy. Okay, so we have the lidocaine in, we'll wait a few minutes, and I'll show you, uh, show you the instruments that we're going to use. Usually, this is our little biopsy pack here at SkinVet. So we have a thumb forceps, some kind of iris-like scissors, and then a needle driver. Use a six millimeter punch in this instance. Six 
millimeter biopsy punch, has some gauze ready, and then some non-absorbable suture to put in one or two sutures to close it up. And I'm also gonna take the first sample um, with a, the, the sterile punch and submit it for culture. So I'm gonna use the scalpel blade to chop off the superficial portion of it. All right, so we've got everything sort of ready here. All right, I'm not gonna use the cold charrette, so I'm just gonna put that down. All right, so let's do our first one. Some gauze is ready here. All right. So I think we'll culture this one. So the idea is to contact the skin over the entire circumference there. Just kind of light pressure, spinning it in one direction ideally. Sometimes I'll spread the skin a little bit to make it more taut. Okay, now I'm just gonna try and lift this out. Good boy, all Good right. Good job. Take the biopsy specimen. This is where I was gonna try and take a tissue sample, so. I'm gonna bisect it first this way. the epidermis, hopefully. And I'll submit this for culture. The piece I bisected, I can still submit for, for biopsy, so pathology. All right, then we'll get, get our other two samples in the same way. To close, you can put in one or two simple interrupted sutures or a cruciate suture.